Thoma Teka is a young South African. He worked as a taxify driver to get by. His dream was to develop an app, but he didn't have the know-how or the resources. I was one of those students who wanted to do more, like to go to university and so forth, but I didn't have that opportunity. So I wanted to create an application to a platform where all the underprivileged youth can get funds. So all the relevant institutions will be on that app, then the underprivileged can go through and find some help with the finance to further their studies. Mateka's luck turned in November 2017. He was chosen as a pilot candidate for Winds of Change. In the last few months, he's been trained and is now a fully-fledged app developer for Neutrinos. This project has changed my life so much. I have a better life, a house to stay in. I have a car that I can use at any time. I have a laptop for the first time. And I have a purpose in life. I have a career that I never thought I would have. So it has changed my life pretty much actually. Then for now I can see myself somewhere. Youth unemployment is close to 70% in South Africa. Young people lack skills to enter the workforce. Winds of Change is hoping to plug this gap. We want to be able to go into each of these communities, to be able to pull them out and have Tukisa as an example, to be able to say, it's up to you, you need to be passionate, you need to be hungry, and you need to have the right attitude, and then we're willing to help you. Whether it's in India or in South Africa or anywhere, any part of the world, um, there are bright, you know, talented guys um, who are looking for such one opportunity. One of our mission, or which is the, the driving principle, is to take technology to that stage where each and every everyone could use that application development or technology for their best interest of life. The first group of students are now being trained. Winds of Change is hoping this will make them employable again and help lift them out of poverty. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.